like the real shit in life. They're just literal strangers and we just don't even pay attention to them. I've never felt my hair so soft. Hi guys, what is up? So it's currently like 5, 4.15 and I worked on Riverdale this morning and I got home early. I came home, I took a fat nap and now Madison wanted to go to the golfing range. You just do golf shots. <laughs> no, um, just mm. shut up. It's Don't act like you're it just Okay, golf, but right? that's common sense. Okay, well going to the golfing range and we're gonna golf. This is my second time golfing in, in a golfing range ever. I've only done mini golf. I've done the range once before, it didn't go so great. So we're gonna see how it goes. But Madison's probably gonna be better because she actually has been golfing and I haven't. So this is gonna be fun, maybe not. Let's go. Hey guys, so I am currently at Shoppers Drug Mart because I just need to get a new eyebrow pencil. I use the one from e.l.f. and I've been using it for so long now. Just because I used to use it Anastasia, the brow pencil, but that one was so expensive. It's literally like $30, I think. This e.l.f. one is probably like $5, but it's way cheaper and it literally does the same exact shit. Like, I honestly don't notice a difference from eyebrow pencil to eyebrow pencil. Like, a $30 eye brow pencil versus five dollars i could not tell you a single difference so it doesn't really matter to me as long as like it doesn't break on me because my other elf one did break but i think that was my fault because i think i dropped it i don't remember what happened to it but so i'm just gonna go ahead into shoppers to get a new one and i thought that i would just like vlog this so that if you guys need eyebrow pencil recommendations this one is really good and it'll last me for so long i'm just like literally at the tip end right now so i don't want to run out in case i want to do my makeup one day and then i'm like oh shit oh i also need conditioner oh my god if i I were to forget that i would have been so mad at myself because i literally go to take a shower i only wash my hair once a week and madison doesn't tell me when there's no conditioner or shampoo left she just doesn't say anything and she just leaves it be i was just like are you kidding me like you couldn't have said anything <laughs> because the last time i had washed my hair there was like a good amount left so i would like didn't think about it anyway so glad i remember that i literally didn't even think about that until this second so thank god Okay, so I just got home and they didn't have Elf there. Like, they didn't have the brand because it was like a sh smaller shoppers. So I know for sure that it, I've seen that at Walmart. So next time that I go to Walmart, I'm going to pick it up. But I do have the pencil so I can show you guys if you guys are interested in buying it. Because I just brought it with me so I knew exactly like what color shade to get. So this is the pencil. So I use the shade Neutral Brown. And for shampoo, I got just like the regular sulfate free Pantene one that I usually get. And conditioner and then i picked up this argan oil mark anthony it's just like a like packaged repair treatment and i bought this like maybe a month ago and i've been using it and it's really good i just like how soft it makes my hair so and it's only like three dollars for that so there's quite a bit in it the weather is so weird right now like i it's sunny but it's raining like i'm not even kidding you it's the weirdest weather right now i'm gonna get a video of my phone here so you guys can see anyways i'm just gonna go inside now i'm also filming like a video today and it's kind of like a video that i'm gonna be filming over the course of a few days so get excited because it's gonna come out after this video that you're watching right now but i'm really excited about it that's all i'm gonna say but stay tuned hi guys so i just want my channel to be honest and i want you know to show you like the real shit in life as well and like not just when i'm happy and when i'm doing entertaining things and i just wanted to i wasn't gonna vlog at all today i just honestly was not in the mood to vlog like whatsoever at the same time i just wasn't feeling it and i just wanted to come on here and say that it's normal to have these random days where you're just not feeling it like, i know that I'm happy as a whole, like as a human being, like I'm happy. But today the vibes are just not it. Like I just feel groggy, I don't feel productive. And I think that's weighing on me right now. And I honestly can't wait till the sun sets so I can start a new day. I barely got anything accomplished today because of the way that I was just feeling. And I don't know if it's a seasonal transition or what is happening, but I just don't feel like myself today. And I just don't feel good. Like I don't feel 
like working i don't feel like filming i just feel like laying literally in bed all day and i just wanted to film that i wanted to show you guys that my life is not perfect and sometimes i know that i make it out to be like when i'm filming everything good everything happy um and i don't want to make you guys feel bad about watching my videos ever i want you guys to obviously be motivated by my videos and i want my videos to motivate you guys and i want to ultimately just like put out good stuff you know but at the same time there are some days where i just have an off day and i'm just not feeling it and i'm sure that goes for every single human being in this world because we're all humans and that's normal and i just wanted to say that that it's normal and tomorrow's going to be a better day i already know and it's okay to have days like these sometimes when days like these occur it's because of your body and it's your body telling you that you need a rest day physically mentally whatever it is i believe that it's your body giving you a signal i know there's always a reason so i'm actually gonna pull out my journal right now and kind of make like a segment in my journal just because i feel like when you have times like this it's like also good to write things down just like reflect on these bad days as well just want to reground myself and remind myself of the things that like i'm grateful for tomorrow is going to be a better day yeah i'm not gonna get mad at myself because there's no point in doing that One tip that I wanted to share with you guys um, that helps me when I feel kind of stuck inside and if I feel like I need to let something go, like if I feel like there's like not bad energy, but like kind of stagnant energy maybe within me or if I just feel not so good. One exercise that like literally helps me so much. Um, okay, so what I do is I inhale and when I inhale, I imagine myself inhaling like light and goodness and good feelings good emotions as i exhale i imagine like a black cloud coming out of me and i imagine that being all of the stagnant energy all of the bad things coming out of my body i imagine it coming from in as i breathe and out as a black cloud coming out i heard it from somebody and i don't remember where i learned this from but it helps me so much so i suggest that you guys try it if you ever like feel that way it always makes me feel so much better like i swear i'm honestly gonna keep this a chill night tonight me and madison want to watch dancing with the stars because we're behind let me know if you guys are watching it down below and maybe we'll do some face masks you know just end the night off right on a better note and pick myself back up honestly you kind of have to appreciate these days because without these types of days you wouldn't know what a good day is you can't feel happiness without feeling sadness so we're on the way to get lava cakes we felt like we deserved them no other explanation for that we used to get lava cakes literally all the time and then we stopped getting them Hey guys so i'm such in a better mood today like i'm just happy today i'm thankful for what happened yesterday because you know now i'm so happy and thankfully like i the day before yesterday i caught up on a lot of work and i did a lot so me doing basically nothing yesterday was fine all i did was really go through my emails and like i had to make a new media kit so i edited that so i did do a couple things but then i was just not feeling it yesterday so i just got starbucks i got a pumpkin spice latte because i always revert back to that it's so good and i just got my bean quinoa wrap i'm going out to do a covid test for Riverdale but yeah I'm just on my way to do that and I just like had this random thought in my head that I wanted to briefly talk about right now me and Julia were talking about this and I just keep thinking about it which is like it's just like the weirdest concept ever everybody that you see is a stranger to you like everybody is just kind of just like an object because it's like they don't mean anything to you like a stranger doesn't mean anything to you in our day-to-day -day lives but it's like our life means everything to us like our life is our life we're the main character of our life but if you think about it like that person driving next to you on the road that person walking across you like those strangers that you see in the grocery store they're char main characters of their own life as well so so they're playing our role but in their own life but to us they're just literal strangers and we just don't even pay attention to them we don't talk to them like we don't talk to strangers no one no one talks to strangers maybe a quick hello but no one's just gonna go like hug them and start talking to them but it's so weird to think that it's like we just see them as just like bystanders and like background people of our own lives but it's like they're the main characters of their life like it's so weird to think about it that way i don't know why it's so weird but there's just so many people on this planet and it's like we only know like a few people in our lifetime out of the billions of people on this planet so yeah i just wanted to say that because you never know what a stranger is going through 
you never know what their story is don't be so quick to judge people they have their own life going on as well there's things going on in their life you don't know about everything you, you don't know anything about them therefore like you can't just judge somebody because you don't know what's going on in their life and they are the main character of their life therefore like they're going through shit and their life is just as as valuable as yours and you gotta empathize with that you know i don't know i've just been noticing random strangers more like i've just been looking at them and like hmm, i wonder what your story is because everybody has a story and it's just crazy how many people there are in the world and we only know literally a tiny handful we only know like a grain of sand of people in this world i don't know that's just literally the craziest thing to me and i just wanted to say that because me and julia were talking about it and we're like that's so weird mm. This is so good. We're gonna pick ourselves back up, you guys. Starting it off right with Starbucks. Honestly, getting out of the house to go to this COVID test, I honestly love getting out of the house nowadays because I work from home, so I'm mostly at my house. So getting outside, like I've grown a deeper appreciation for just like leaving the house just to get my body outside of the house. So that's why I like treating myself to Starbucks when I leave the house because I don't leave the house often. I guess it depends a week, but I do work from home, so it can get very repetitive if I don't spice things up. I'm just gonna drive now to my test. I'll see you guys later when I pick up the camera next. Okay, you guys, so I got tested and drove back. I just stopped to get some flowers for my mom. They're kind of like orangey, yellowy. They kind of remind me of Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving is this weekend. I just wanted to buy her flowers because she's been going through a really hard time. She's finally healing. And so I just wanted to give her flowers as a sign of healing, appreciation for her. I'm so happy for her. Doing things for other people makes me happy. So yeah, this is your sign to do an act of kindness today. Whatever it is, can make somebody's day, so. My mom made pumpkin pie and when I tell you it's literally the best pumpkin pie on heaven earth it literally is and it smells like fall in my house right now and I couldn't be in a happier mood she usually coats it with cream cheese icing and it's literally the most delicious thing ever this is literally why I love Thanksgiving and fall for the pumpkin pie you just literally can't beat it homemade pumpkin pie it's the best thing ever thank you mom I love you for this you guys I'm about to go get my keratin treatment done for my hair and I'm so excited my appointment's at 10 30 I'm 10 o'clock so I have literally like 10 minutes to get in right now, but I'm so freaking excited I can't wait to show you guys like that after this is the before but not really the before because my hair has been like straightened and all that So this is not like my natural hair, but I'm so excited and I'm gonna document the process and show you guys how it goes But I literally couldn't be more excited like my hair has been so hard to manage my whole life it Takes me an hour over an hour to just straighten it and I just really hope hope that this helps so and I'm getting also a little cut so yeah, okay, I'm gonna walk over there five minutes Guys, I'm literally obsessed. Like, if you can feel my hair right now, I've never felt my hair so soft in my literal entire life. So I'll tell you guys a bit about the process of what happened. So what happened was she washed my hair, she cut my hair, and then she applied the keratin treatment on my wet hair, blow dried the keratin treatment into my hair, and then straightened it. And she said that the heat seals it into your hair, so it's like baking it, pretty much. And she said, since I have a dry scalp, she recommended that she rinse my hair and then just like blow dry it again just to get like the product out more because it didn't need to sit in my hair longer than that so she's really nice she didn't have to do that but she rinsed my hair put some conditioner in it or whatever and then she re-blow dried it which only took like literally 10 minutes because it dried frizzless i've never seen my hair dry so perfectly and soft in my life like i am so shocked totally worth the money you guys i'll put her instagram right here if you guys are from the vancouver area but if not search up like keratin treatments do some research i just found her on instagram because I searched up keratin Vancouver and then she came up I will update you guys after I wash my hair like with shampoo because she just had rinsed it but she said that the way that it blow dried when she just rinsed it it's gonna like be that way and dry naturally that way 
until the keratin treatment comes out of my hair so basically she said that it coats my hair so the keratin treatment it coats your hair versus japanese straightening which like actually goes inside your hair molecule and changes the chemical formation so keratin treatment just goes on the outer bonds of your hair or whatever so over time it's going to wash out if that makes sense so she said it lasts three to eight months she has clients where it lasts eight months but she said average is around five six this is going to make my life so much easier like i am so excited but yeah so it does wash out she said to use sulfate free shampoo she suggested that I go to like a hairdresser get a good quality shampoo or order one because she said that the better shampoo you use the longer it's gonna last because if you use like shitty quality shampoo and ingredients then it's gonna make the keratin treatment wash out quicker so I'm probably gonna end up buying like a good quality shampoo she says conditioner doesn't really matter because it's no sulfates in it anyways my hair has been like such a I don't want to say a burden because that's very dramatic very very dramatic I'm so grateful for the hair that I have like the thickness like everything like I'm very blessed but just very hard to manage and it's just been something that I've always had to like worry about and spend a lot of time on so this is just like so freaking nice that I don't have to worry about it anymore she said a lot of moms who don't have time love it if you guys have hard to manage hair frizzy or whatever your scenario is i totally recommend doing a keratin treatment i will update you guys like after i wash my hair i'm probably going to be in a different vlog but she did like already rinse my hair and this is the result so i'm so happy i just can't believe it also i'll put, I'll put like a before of my natural hair but yeah that's my experience and i'm literally like i could cry because of how happy I am about it. Best decision ever. I wish I knew about this sooner. Like, I wish I got it done sooner because it would have saved me a lot of time. But, you know, now I know now and I'm spreading the word to you guys. Anyways, it's Thanksgiving today. So, I think I'm going to make, like, a separate vlog about Thanksgiving. Not about it, but just, like, you know, I'm going to start a new vlog today. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you want to keep up with my character and hair updates, subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.